Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm going to do a quick math plan for Thursday, June 7th, and I'm going to do it on Slash CS, which is the S&P 500 and the other indices that you can find on Nadex. And every single evening, I always start on the four-hour chart, as you can see right there. And that is because as far as a day trader goes, the four-hour chart is the most important chart to understand, is what is our bias on this four-hour chart? Are we overbought, are we oversold, or are we at equilibrium? Okay, and it's very obvious what we are. And uh, I'm, we're looking here at the entire year of 2018, and we had, uh, starting at the end of January, we had massive, massive, massive uh, volatility. We had a beautiful triangle, as you can see, and then the triangle came decision time. Bulls ended up winning the triangle. They busted through, they held pullback, and now they're just running. Right. And volatility has completely died. So volatility is is how far a market will move in any given trading day or month. Right. Uh, 30 day. The VIX is a 30 days. And so you'll see how uh, the lower this chart is, the lower, the smaller the movement you're going to have. And so you'll notice back in February, we had uh, really high volatility number readings, which we were seeing really good swings and back and forth movement. And now you're going to start, and this is also negatively correlated. So every time the VIX goes up and uh, the market goes down, every time the VIX goes down, the market goes up. So you'll notice what's happening here on this VIX. We're hitting, um, we're almost hitting 2018 lows. And it's also getting really, really oversold. So what does that mean? If this VIX is getting oversold and it's negatively correlated to the S&P uh, 500, what is that probably going to tell you what's going to happen? So VIX is massively oversold. Uh, this is massively overbought. They're negatively correlated. What's the next? What do you think is going to happen? Well, we don't know for sure, but we're overbought. I'm fully anticipating a sell trigger. Now, can it still grind higher? Of course, the market can do whatever it wants to do. And there is decent uh, supply up there. Uh, you know, the last pretty much supply zone we got is going to be right up in that uh, 2800, which would put us 30 points to the upside. I don't see that happening. Uh, but plain and simple, right? When you're looking at the bird's eye view, you're also looking like what, what you don't want to do. You absolutely don't want to be buying up in here, right? We can, and this chart's very bullish. We can still buy this chart tomorrow. We just got to make sure that we're buying really good pullbacks, buying pullbacks, okay? And so it's very obvious. Let me zoom in. Very obvious. We, we tried so freaking hard too to sell off. Look at that reversal star. And just in the last hour and a half of the day, the bulls just took off. And that's why I almost never trade the close. You'll notice in the chat room, you'll, you'll see me say, I'm shutting it down here. And I usually shut it down by two o'clock Eastern. I don't trade the close. It's just stupid. I don't do it anymore. And, 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 and a lot of times the close actually does what I think it's going to do. But then there's days like this where it's just like, that's stupid. Like, what the heck was that, right? I mean, we're already extremely overbought. We were so close for that four-hour candle sell trigger. Just go ahead and take it off, and then all of a sudden, boom, we get that. But that's fine. We adjust. That's why I don't trade the close, and then I always come back and regroup. And so now what we need to start doing, obviously, it grinds higher. We want to be looking for sell triggers. We can also, if these bears start taking off, we can uh, look for spreading this chart down. And then we're, we're going to jump here to the 15-day, 15 15-minute 15 plot chart uh, to find some of our targets for tomorrow. So I want to start zooming in here because we really don't have a ton of structure to play off of. And so now we're moving. We're going to be looking here at the 15-day, 15 15-minute 15 plot chart. And what I do here is I'm just looking for structure. I'm looking for the best places to buy, the best places to sell. I'm looking for support, resistance, supply, and demand zones. And what I always do is I start exactly where price is and then I plan. What am I going to do or not do if this chart can, does continue to grind higher, right? Because even though it sh technically it shouldn't, it shouldn't continue to grind higher tomorrow. But if it does, I gotta have a plan. And what am I going to do or not do if this chart starts grinding lower? Okay, so let's first talk about if we grind higher. Pretty much, we don't have any structure to the left. Okay, so if it does continue to grind higher, I know that I don't want to be a buyer up here. I buy low and sell high. Okay, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm a contrarian. And the contrarian has worked really well for, through, for me. And so a lot of people see all-time highs and they buy. I don't, I don't do that. I'm not saying that you can't make money doing that, but I don't. 
And I like selling where there's good value. Sorry, I like buying where there's really, really uh, good value, which as far as tomorrow goes, I don't see value until deep down into there. So I'm not gonna be buying anything up here. So the higher it goes, I'm not against looking for sell triggers off of the plus 0.5 or even that plus one. Uh, but I know that if you're gonna look for sell triggers here, you are gonna have lower win rates uh, because you don't have any structure to the left. Price hasn't been here in quite a while. So there's no proven structure. So it's 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 not a bad it's not a bad gig. You just want to make sure that you're staying at the money and getting a move and taking profits. And so you want to be trading obviously for carrot trades up there. Get in and get out. You don't want to be holding dailies or anything up there. Not 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 in this type of market environment. You don't want to be holding dailies because look look at that volume just in the last hour. That's just stupid. You don't want to be holding dailies up there. Okay. Now let's talk about if we grind lower. And that's what's likely to happen. And so first things first, I want to show you this. Price loves, 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 loves to get sucked back to where these original volume spikes originate from. And so it really kind of started right there. And so that puts us right back to that negative and a half right there. Now for me, and so I do think it's going to make its way back there. So there's a couple ways you can play this. First way, you start getting through 2770 and holding lower highs, you can look to spread that sucker down on an at the money binary or traditional future. Put your take profit right there. Now for me, I'm not gonna be using that as a buy zone. I don't see that as good value. Uh, for I would, ra and I'm not saying it won't hold, I just wanna put my money on it. That's, I don't wanna be buying up here, that's crazy. And, but for me, I want to look to use negative and a half right there as a breakout tomorrow because there's my juicy target for the bears for tomorrow. So once we start, if, if I can get this chart to start busting through negative and a half, now I start using negative and a half. I try and use either negative and a half or even I'm not against looking for value or high using that as resistance, breakout, hold lower high, hold that pullback into right there on an at the money binary or an at the money spread. I use a five point middle, five to six point middle stop loss to the upside. And then I use that negative one right there as my take profit target, which is almost eight to 10 points worth of profit potential. Okay, and so that doesn't mean that you need to hold all the way for uh, the negative one. You get in right there, you got, I would be taking profits once you see 50 to $70 worth of profit. Get in, get out. Okay, and as far as buying opportunities, I would rather see if this can't dump. And then uh, if I were to buy this chart tomorrow, I don't want to buy until we make it to VA low, two POCs, and then we got demand right there uh, first thing in the morning. So I, I still want to, I like buying bullish charts, overbought bullish charts, but I need a pullback. I need a really good pullback, and I don't see one until we get, make our way right there. Okay, uh, I do want, I need to take you through some of these other charts because. <clears throat> They're almost the same thing. And trading all-time highs with no structure, not necessarily RTY is all-time highs, but I want to take you to NQ. Okay, so let's, let me show you NQ on the four-hour chart here. So NQ uh, did actually hit all-time highs, but it just barely. And NQ is making its way back to that all-time high right there. And, uh, and so we're coming into some pretty massive supply. Like this is, this is like massive decision time for these NASDAQ bears. Are they going to hold this supply zone? Uh, from every, all of my experience tells me that they are. So we need to be prepared to try and take this chart lower for tomorrow. We did get a mini sell off, went to the middle blue Keltner and it bounced right back. So it's obvious these bulls are vicious, but that doesn't mean there still isn't good opportunity to spread this chart lower. And yes, we can still buy. We just gotta make sure that we're buying on some good pullback. So when we move to that 15 day, 15 minute plot chart, we can really see the opportunity here. So if we start grinding higher, there's no structure up here. Clearly you wanna be a seller, uh, so you, you can do whatever you wanna do up there. Just know that you're gonna have lower win rates because you don't have any structure. What I wanna be looking for is this chart cycling down. And uh, I, I see my first target right there, it's beautiful. Negative and a half, Wednesday POC, VA low, good volume consolidation. So how I would play this is I wanna use VA high as my breakout. Get through, now start holding lower highs. There's my entry right there, or possibly one right there on an at the money spread. And then I have all of that room to ride that sell trigger down and then use that right there as my take profit target. 
as far as buying opportunities go, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not totally against that. I do like that as a nice little pullback because that's good context. The thing is though, that if you look for a quick morning V or a buy trigger there, it's gotta be quick, 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 quick. Get in, get some green and bank it because we are really overbought and this could drop hammer on you at any second. So, you know, it's, it's tough buying really, really overbought charts because these bears, they'll dump. They are gonna dump, trust me, they're gonna dump. And so that's why if there's still opportunity to buy. You just gotta understand, you gotta be quick. Okay, so if you're seeing a nice little buy trigger, morning B, get in, get out. Okay, and as far as um, you can see that we do have some demand right there, but my second, I would stay patient for that negative one, come back to that uh, Monday uh, opening volume right there. So nice little pullback, and I can look for buy triggers off of that negative one. Uh, RTY, all time highs. And what I wanted to show you here, it's almost the exact same as in Q. Uh, I would use VA high right there as my breakout and then 80% roll down. Negative one POC, Wednesday PO, or sorry, negative one deviation, Wednesday POC, value very low, nice trend line low that I got there, so that's a great target. And then I do like that as potential support as well. So uh, comment if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to me or Ryan Smith. Take pictures of all of your trades and post them in the group and in the chat room so that you can get feedback from me and from others.